In this video, I'll show you how to make a shirt in Roblox Mobile. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. I really do appreciate it. And just a quick note as well, this guide is going to work on all types of mobile devices, including iOS and Android and including tablets as well. So without any further ado, let's go and hop onto our phone. Here we are on my phone. And just a quick note before we get any further, this guide is going to work on Android devices as well as iOS devices which I'm doing this guide on it doesn't matter it's gonna work and that includes mobiles and iPads and tablets and stuff like that as well so the first thing you want to do is go and jump into your phone's browser we can't use the Roblox app for this guide so go and open it into your phone's browser so in my case it's either Safari or Google Chrome then you want to come to roblox.com and once you're here all you want to do is go and make sure you go and request a desktop website so to do that on an iOS device, you go and press on those two A's. On an Android device, it's usually three dots, or on Google Chrome, it's three dots as well. So you go and click on it there, and then go and click Request Desktop Website, and here we are. Then you want to go and click Login, just like so, and you just need to go and log in as you usually would to Roblox with your username, email, or phone number, and then your password. So I'm just gonna go and sign in right now, and hit Sign In. Then it's gonna go and take you to the Roblox homepage. So the next thing you then want to do is go and press on create at the top just like so. Now you may go and get the option to go and download Roblox Studio, but below that there should be something called like manage creations. You need to go and click that and then it's going to take you to this menu here, um, to this screen here, sorry. Um, but yeah, you don't need Roblox Studio for this, but Roblox like to sort of encourage you to download it, but you can skip past that. Then come under my creations and all you want to do is scroll down until you can see shirts. So click on shirts. Then it's going to go and take us here. So all you want to do is scroll across and it's going to go and say, did you use this template? If not, download it here. So what we need to go and do is, is we need to go and download this template to go and create a Roblox shirt. So go, go and click on download it here and it's going to go and open up a brand new tab with a template in. So once it's here, you need to go and save this image to your photo library. So you need to do that depending on what type of device it's going to be, it's going to vary a little bit. But on an iOS device, you need to go and hold on it just like so, lightly, and then it goes and gives us the option to go and add to photos. So we go and click on add to photos. Now it's saved to our photo library and you can come and close off of Roblox, come back to it like this, and then we can close off of it. The next thing you need to do is, is go and open up your app store and you need to go and search for an app called Canva. As you can see, here it is. Canva is a huge platform. Um, it's really well used. And as you can see, it's got over 130,000 ratings. Once you've downloaded it, go and open it up. Now, when you first go and use Canva, you are gonna have to go and create an account. I'd use my Apple ID to create a quick account. Then once you're here on the Canva homepage, all you want to do is go and press on this plus button in the bottom right, just like so, and you need to go and click on custom size. Now the width and the height digits are so important, so make sure you enter these exactly. So for the width, all you want to do is type in 585, then for the height, you need to go and type in 559, just like so. Then once you've done that, you can go and click on create new design, and here we go. So once you've created it, it's gonna go and take you to the templates. All you want to do is go and click on camera roll, just like so, and then it's going to go and show you your images and you want to go and select the photo we just went to save from Roblox, the template. So go and click on it just like so. Then you want to go and click on add to page. So the first thing we need to go and do is restart the template to make sure it fits the full box, the full canvas. So what we want to do is go and tap on it and then use the side buttons just like so to go and drag it out. And then it's going to go and snap to the edges just like so. Then we'll just do this top part and there we go. That's now fully snapped. Now, just before we get any further, I want to quickly explain to you how this works. So what you need to go and do is, is you need to go and fill in the template essentially. So the parts you need to fill in are in color and the parts you don't need to are just gray. So as you can see in the bottom left, we've got the right arm. In the bottom right, we've got the left arm. And then at the top, we've got the main torso. So the front and the back and then the bottom and the sides and stuff like that as well. So you then want to go and fill this in and you can use images, you can use text, but the main thing you want to do is make sure you've got a sort of a background color. So that's what I recommend doing first and that's what I'll show you what to do. So in the bottom left, go and click on the plus button. Then you want to go and click on elements here. Then as you can see, you've got lines and shapes. So I recommend just using any of these and go and click on one just like so. And if you want to go and change the color, then go and click on color and we can choose any color. So there are a ton to choose from as you can see. This blue looks quite nice. I might use that one. I'll use this one here then go and press on the X and then we can go and resize this to go and fit it. So I'm gonna start with the torso, so I'm gonna go and put it in at the top just like so, and then you need to use these middle bars to go and change the actual size. And there we go, we want it to fit exactly. So that's the first bit done. So then to go and make another, go and press on the plus button once again and go and click on the shape. And then we want to go and get the same color, just like so. 
close off of this and we'll go and fit it all again. So I've just finished the torso background and now I'm gonna go and do the right arm and the left arm. So click on the plus once again and we'll use this same one. And for the color, I might do a little bit of shade of blue just to make it sort of stand out a bit. So now I'm gonna close off the color once again and go and make sure this fits. Also having a bit of overlap doesn't matter either. I just recommend making sure the full bit's filled in. Otherwise, when you go and upload it, that's gonna be reflected when you go and sort of use it and wear it, you're gonna see the part underneath which wasn't covered. And here we are, I'm now doing the left arm as well. Um, as you can see, just sort of repeating the full process. So I'm gonna finish this off and then I'm gonna show you how you can go and add some things on top of it to go and make it stand out. So there we go, I've now gone and sorted out sort of the background color you could say. So now I want to go and add a logo and then some images and other things like that. So to go and do that, go and press on the plus button and then you want to go back to your camera roll and you can go and select any image you'd like. So you go and save some off the web for example. So I've gone and I've got my logo here. Then I'm gonna go and click add to page and here it is. So now I'm just gonna go and resize this and now I want it to be on the front of the torso. So if you're worried about putting it in the wrong place, I recommend just coming back to the page where we had the template. And as you can see, that's the front and that is the back. So I now know where to put it. So I'm gonna go and put it in just like so. And now I'm just gonna go and make sure it fits well. So I'm happy with that. If you don't want to go and add an image, you can also go and click on the plus button. And then you can also go and look at other things as well. For example, click on more. And then you can go and look at bitmojis. Um, and you can also go and look at other content. So I could go and click on emojis, for example. And then we can go and see all of the different emojis. So in this case, I'm gonna go and put a thumbs, thumbs up on my back just because it's all about YouTube, leaving a thumbs up and that type of thing. So I'm just gonna go and resize this to put it and put it on the back of the torso. I think that looks really cool. So there we go, I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, you can add so many more things as well. Once again, click on more, and then there are so many other things you can choose from as well and discover content. And you can add text, and you can also add images you saved as I just did. Um, and you can add so many other things as well. So there we go. But once you're happy with it, then all you need to do is go to the top right where you've got the share button, so you've got like an arrow pointing outwards, click there. Then all you want to do is go and click on download, just like so, and there you go. Make sure the size is around right. Make sure PNG is selected, and then you want to go and click on download. And then once this pops up, go and click on save image at the bottom, and there we go. It's now gonna go and save it to our camera roll. So now come and close off of Canva, just like so, and you want to go and open up Safari. So I'm gonna go and open up Safari, and then you want to go and type in a certain website. So go and click here. So go and type in resize images as we need to go and resize this image to make sure it's exactly right. The website I personally use is simpleimageresizer.com. There's many on the web, but I just really like this one here. So wait for it to load and then you want to go and click on select image. Then we need to go and click on photo library, just like so. Then you can go and select the image. So this one is the one I want to go and do and go and click on choose. Then it's gonna go and upload it. And what you need to do is go and click on this dot here so we can go and choose the dimensions on the right hand side, click there. Then go and type in the width we need, which was 585 and then the height is 559. So I'm gonna type it in 559, just like so. Then go and click on resize and it's gonna go and say uploading image. Then once it's done, you're gonna go and get the success sort of banner here. Then you want to go and click on download. So it's now downloading it. So now to go and download it, you need to go and save it. So go and hold on it lightly once again, and then go and click add to photos or just download the image to your photo gallery or photo library basically. Then once you've done that, you want to come back to Roblox just like so. Now, just before we go and upload this shirt we just went and created, there's a decision you need to make. So either you can upload it in my creations or group creations. So if you upload it in group creations, you can go and sell it and you can also go and wear it yourself, but you do need to have, obviously have a group for it. Um, and you do have to have premium to go and create the group. Um, so that's something you need to consider. But if you just want it to wear it for yourself and you want you to have premium, then make sure you go in my creations. But if you want to do it in group creation, just tap on group creations and then you can scroll down the shirt and you can upload it here. But if you want to do it in my creations, click on my creations and then come down to shirt and upload it here. So you need to go and decide before you can do that. So go and click on choose file where it says find your image, click choose file and go and click on photo library. Then go and click on it here and go and click on choose. Here it is. Then you can go and name it anything you'd like. Um, so I'm just gonna go and delete what currently says there because you want it to be a bit more detail. Not detail, but you just don't want random letters and numbers. So I'm gonna name that new shirt and then you need to go and click on upload for 10 Robux. So it does cost you 10 Robux. Then once it's done that, go and click on confirm. Now it's uploading it. And once it's gone and it's successfully done, it's gonna say shirt successfully created. 
when you first go and upload it, Roblox aren't gonna have generated a preview as you've only just done it. So it will take you know a few hours or maybe even just a few minutes to do so. But then come over to the right hand side and go and click on the settings cog just here and then go and click on configure. And then here we can go and set a name for it. Um, so come down to name and then all you want to do is go name this whatever you'd like. Then you can go and add a description as well and go and click save. Then at the top, go and click on go to details, just like so. Then as you can see, it actually says item owned, so you can then go and wear it if you'd like. 